ready. Shannon Boudram is the esteemed author of Laid, Young People's Experiences with Sex in an Easy Access Culture. And she's a certified sexual educator and sexologist, and she is here with us here on City Line. We're so happy to talking about sex on the show, but it's good to actually have a professional here to guide us through. Yes, to give you the, right? the professional tips to doing it. Yes. What's great about these tips is that anybody can do them right now, to here today, after the show. So it's nothing that's like needs an expert or certification for that. Okay, well good stuff. We're going to talk about ways to actually improve your sex life. These are easy ways. Uh, we hear about it all the time, but it's a busy world and people are all over the place. Maybe not focused on what they can actually be doing to make things better. Exactly. And we want to ask, how can we extend our sexual boundaries? How can we engage in riskier, more outrageous behavior and then still emerge the healthier for it? Okay. So the very first tip, speaking of being on the go and being busy, one of my favorite things to do is kegels. Yeah. And now kegels are the exercise for your PC muscles, your pelvic floor. Yeah. And you can, I'm doing them right now. Me actually. too, now. We're doing them. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are go as well on, too. Go on, do them. No one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> and they're great for reproductive health and they're great, you know, of, of course, like a muscle. If you don't use it, you lose it. And right. when you lose it, stuff starts to go bad. But in addition to that, women who work their kegels have more control over their orgasm and in addition it brings more blood and oxygen to the area. So I'm going to give you guys two exercises that are awesome you can do every single day. This is stuff I will not hear from my trainer at the gym so go ahead. Exactly. <laughs> so the, these are different. The first one is the stoplight one. So that's okay. when you get to turn like a left turn or a right turn. You know that sound that you're yeah. going to pulse release, pulse release, pulse release, pulse release. Oh, and when it's hard. your turn to turn, you're going to hold and release. Okay. And every time you hear a turn signal, whether you're in the passenger seat or the driver's seat, sometimes on the bus, you're going to do these exercises. <laughs> oh, so that's your clue to do it. That's work your them clue. Out. As soon as you hear that sound, like a Pavlov response, start yes. pulse release, pulse release, pulse release. You know what's good about that? Everyone knows how to do a Kegel. But we forget to do them because exactly. there's nothing that is signaling to us to do it. And most of us are just, you know, I'm busy at the grocery store. I didn't think about my pelvic floor. No, exactly. So this is a good signal. <laughs> this is a good signal and to get it going. And trust me, it's bad. I honestly, on cue, I will do it. Sometimes if That's people awesome. I hear a clock going, I'm like, <laughs> See, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've done the kegels, we've done the exercises. Is there another exercise? Yes. Number two, another tip I want to get to is yeah. flirting shamelessly. I'm not talking about writing your name on lipstick and passing it to the bartender. I'm not trying to get you divorced. Right. But flirting is something, an activity that we can do to invite sexual pleasure into our lives. The okay. beautiful thing about flirting, if I flirted with you right now, is it is reciprocal. When I give you that energy, you're probably going to give it back to me. If I say, mm -hmm. Your hair looks fantastic today. Thanks. And see, I'm already getting that from you. You're Warren, cute too. And I got the compliment there. Yeah. So when we give off that sexual energy, we get it back. Yeah. One of the easiest tips you can do is creating S's with your bodies. Just little shapes that you can do just to kind of give a little bit of intrigue. I'm going to lean in as if you're about to tell me the Lotto 649 numbers for tomorrow. All right. And then I'm going to tilt my head and give you lots of eye contact and say, Tracy, you look stunning today. <gasps> that works. And just that little bit mm -hmm. of sexual energy that we give all day long to our friends, to our coworkers. Now it's no longer just to the bedroom. Our right. sexuality is for everybody and everything. So it's awesome. So, okay, so you're advocating flirting with people who are not your significant other. Like, just send out the sexual signals, and that is actually going to help you feel like more of a sexual animal. Exactly. Well, you give it to your sniffing other. You don't, you know, spare yeah. the, the one who deserves it the most, yeah. but you warm up all day long. So when you get home, you are like a beast. You have <laughs> all this charged up energy. You are on full right now, ready just to explode. Um, so I think it's a practice that more women in particular need to be conscious of, yeah. the sexual energy that they're giving and receiving back. And giving compliments is the easiest way because the more that you give, the more that you get back, and the more that you're aware of yourself as a beautiful, vibrant, vivacious woman that you are. That is lovely. And I think that there's a lot of sort of shame um, associated with flirting. We're always hearing with women, you shouldn't do that. You gotta be a nice girl. So I think it's nice to sort of reclaim your sexual energy. You're doing it again. I'm doing it right now. I know. <laughs> It's working. I mean, you're so hot. It's very <laughs> difficult to resist. I'm keeping her around. <laughs> okay, so now we've done our kegels to the stoplights. We have flirted with everyone, you know. Shamelessly. Shamelessly. What else do we need to do to improve our sex lives today? Okay, last but not least, one of the great things I did, my mom did for me, was uh, she gave me a toolkit when I moved into my place. Just like, okay. you know, you're measuring tape in your hammer, those basic things. 
Every woman needs their own sexual pleasure toolkit. She gave you a sexual pleasure she toolkit? She didn't give me that. I made okay. my own, but she gave me the regular toolkit, okay. which gave me a great idea. This can go to other things as well. I was like, your mom's awesome if she did yes. that. Well, she is. She, she is. is awesome. Um, so I think that for every one orgasm that women have, men have three. Right. So there is a pandemic deficit that's happening right now. So you may have to take matters into your own hands, literally. Uh -huh. So I have two things that are in my kit that oh, I travel. With kit. Okay. I travel with me. One is just a very small, beautiful jar of coconut oil. Now this is great for your hair, for your teeth, mm -hmm. um, hands, exactly, cooking, whatever yeah. it is you want to do. Also amazing for the vulva whether internally or externally. So this is antibacterial, antifungal, great for pH, and the best lubricant you will ever use in your whole entire life. Really? So slippery, no artificials, it's awesome. Oh my gosh, okay, go try them today. Let us know and on exactly. Twitter. Just joking, you don't have to let us know. <laughs> but feel more sexual, own your space, Shannon, you rock.